Hello Visual Effects people, I'm AK and this is Fluid Ninja Live use case package number 8. We have two levels, one is Lava Local and the other one is Lava Word Space. Currently we are on Lava Local, I'm starting the gameplay and having a look, I could push objects around and we have like uh, 10 stages demonstrating uh, different viscosity, different uh, style so many ways to create lava uh, there is one thing here I would like to mention this stylized version which is getting a bit closer and I'm getting on the word space level quickly just to demonstrate what we have and I'm gonna explain all these in a minute so I'm starting with the pawn and as you could see, uh, we have like this large field of lava. We have created uh, a lava river as well. So that's what we have. And now quickly, I would like to explain what we have here. Um, returning to the local level, you might remember Fluid Blast. These experiments have been located on uh, level tutorial level number 10 and this is pretty much the same except we have re-skinned it so uh, we have been tweaking the look to make it uh, behave like lava and so what we have on this uh, stage 2 is like a classic quasi realistic setup and as you could see we have a new uh, slider here which is called the melting point that is controlling one of the 50 parameters available for lava. I just wanted to demonstrate uh, interactively how um, this could be influenced in the gameplay. And so I'm pushing these objects around. You might have noticed that we have this smoke um, around the objects. And this is because, and I'm quitting the gameplay, apart from the standard fluid simulation that is rendering the lava, uh, we have a second one which is responsible for the smoke and this one and I'm looking for the details panel of this simulation and I'm going for the live component this one is hidden you might notice live generic output material invisible and one more thing apart from being hidden we are writing the render target namely the density render target to an external file an external render target and this volume smoke container represented with this blue letter N is reading the simulation output and rendering it as volumetric smoke so what we have like two fluid simulation one responsible for the lava and the second one responsible for the smoke and the raw output of the second one is hidden and we are using a volumetric smoke container to, to visualize that um, we have the same thing here, but a bit more turbulent, it's like um, a river, if I make it a bit more dark, I could see like I'm pushing this object around and it's making the whole ra lava river a bit swirly. And we have a few more experiments over there, like this one, where we could uh, draw with a persistent brush, I'm just pushing this object here and it feels like uh, we have like an impression on the ground as the lava is m as the object is melting this field and you could notice the same thing down here I'm just setting the melting point back to normal so I'm using the word position offset in this case um, it feels like uh, the fresh lava is bumping out of the field as you could see I'm setting the mapping point it gives different visual results and in this case again it's like an impression I'm just zooming out a little bit pushing objects around and here is the stylized version I mentioned Uh, as you could see, uh, these impressions have like a, um, a crystal-like minimalistic uh, shape and 
as I push things around these shapes change dynamically again uh, it's uh, the geometry is like a physical impression so it's really uh, not a parallax faking but uh, we have like a highly tessellated geometry and we are using that to make this deformation oh, let me just push this sphere around a bit that's how it goes and so how do we achieve this stylized look? Well, I could quickly explain. Um, we are using a very strong noise field and that is constraining uh, the velocity of the simulation to this frozen state. I'm quitting the gameplay, uh, going to the start location, enabling the preset manager on the details panel starting the gameplay again going to this stylized container and now i'm picking this stylized guy it is lava 5 stylized as you could see the yellow rectangle was blinking around the simulation area so we have this selected and as you could see this in the purple velocity options the directional noise is set to 100 uh, if I set it back to a normal volume, like 1, the whole thing uh, is, is becoming this melty, soft, uh, fluid sim-like thing. Which is not bad, not too bad, but uh, I find it way more interesting if I freeze it out this way, using this very strong noise. And uh, one, another parameter worth to mention is this uh, noise offset because that is animating the noise and it is also set to zero. If I set it to 10, we have like a quick fluctuation of noise. And again, uh, we are losing this frozen state and the stylized look. As you could see this noise, the strong noise is fluctuating over the field. So I'm setting this offset to zero, which means the noise is not animated at all. And it's a very strong noise and it's freezing, freezing the field. And there is one more experiment here. Um, we have uh, these um, labels and descriptions on level, so you could read uh, the hints and how uh, you could change the output material and change the style. So it's all described there. Okay, and I would say, let's move on. Oh, one more thing, <laughs> it might be important. Um, we are heavily using detail maps. Please have a look at these two grayscale images here. One is my favorite, Mr. Crumple, and the other one is this uh, foam that we have been using for water simulations. And now have a look at these two lava, lava stages. I'm setting the melting point, and as you could see that Crumple and the foam thing produces quite different visual outcome. That is how uh, detail maps are influencing the look of the simulation and you could add your own detail maps as well defined in the output material so that was uh, the local lava level and i'm moving on to the world space level i'm recalling uh, use case package number six everything is explained there and this is pretty much just a uh, reskinned version of use case package 6 so i'm using the same technology as with these world scale water fields and the technology is shortly recapping the following we have one simulation container that is generating a tiled pattern and we have another simulation container attached to the pawn and uh, the material that is assigned with this huge lava surface is reading the simulation output from both so the tile generator and the local simulation solver and that is how we uh, create these infinite fields we could also move on with the <laughs> with this clumsy vehicle just to <laughs> be a bit quicker when we're moving on these fields I'm just dropping it from the air because it looks nice as it's splashing the lava around it. Again, please, let me smash it. And just as on the water level, um, we have this technology for uh, applying the lava on curved surfaces. As you could see, and I'm zooming out, uh, this whole uh, river bank is a bit curvy and the lava is following the shape of the river bank 
one more thing worth to mention. If I select the uh, the object with this lava material and I'm going to the details panel, I could locate uh, the material instance responsible for the whole thing. And just as we have been using the slider to set the melting point, we could do the same thing here. Um, and the parameter in question is flow density mask. So I'm setting it um, to a lower value and hopefully this gives us a more uh, solid lava field. Let me just quickly try to adjust this. Uh -huh. You can see that uh, it's uh, as I'm setting this value uh, to different ranges, uh, the, la the lava field is, is adaptively changing. And you could also use a texture as mask for the whole thing. So you could create like proper lava river banks or you could surround your castle with a sea of lava using this texture. So um, shortly that's it. <coughs> and uh, the next thing is going to be a volcano, use case package number nine. And now thank you for your attention and patience and see you next time. Bye bye.